Why did you feel the need to come out and say it then? Because there was there was a lot of chat uh, that I thought was really counterproductive uh, to uh, to conditions for success for this team and for our community. Uh, and frankly, uh, you know, those decisions are going to be made by. Uh, by the athletic director and our president, and uh, and I wanted people to know how how we felt. Say, there's been a lot of talk about James and possibly getting an extension. Is there any news on that front yet? L lots going on. Uh, they're obviously involved in the assistant coaches for helping to retain them. What can you do? Obviously, James plays a role. We talked about that previously. But what can you do? And sort of what has happened like the last couple of weeks as those guys obviously field phone calls and, and you know deal with other schools that you. I mean, I think for, uh, for for Penn State, for any institution, uh, the athletic director is about providing, uh, helping to provide the, the, the right resources, uh, the right investment uh, in, a, in, in a staff, uh, and, and also the, the right environment from an athletic department and an institutional standpoint uh, for our, our coaches, for all of our staff, for our student athletes, for our community, to know that we're, we're invested, we're committed to success at Penn State. We all know that success means a number of of different things, uh, and it's not one of those, it's all of those. It's academic, it's uh, it's community, uh, it's uh, it's character, and it's winning on the football field. Uh, and, uh, and we're certainly a big part of setting the tone uh, for that, uh, and an environment that staff want to come to and want to stay with. Uh, certainly very positive. Uh, you know, you, you see it everywhere you go. You're seeing it here in L.A. Uh, in terms of Penn Staters and how Penn Staters feel about uh, their program, win or lose. Um, but it's always uh, uh, it's always nicer when you win. Uh, you got a little pep in your step. You, you square your shoulders a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more. And we're, we're seeing that here. Uh, we're seeing it in every aspect of the community, every aspect of the program. Cindy, what are your thoughts when you see you know <clears throat> when you see your team win the Big Ten title and they're left out of the top four? I mean, what are your thoughts at that? that so I started to smile, and then you said left out of the top four, and then the smile came up my face. You know, we're we're all competitors, and uh, if if there's a if there's a, a, a place in the pecking order uh, that. Uh, that competitively you can be, that's where you want to be. Uh, and, uh, and so certainly uh, we believe that we were uh, uh, college football playoff worthy uh, and that we deserve one of those four places. Uh, the committee decided otherwise uh, and we get to come to the Rose Bowl and play a, a really, really good USC team in the hottest game in the country. Uh, those two CFP games are, or playoff games are going on today. There's no hotter ticket uh, than, uh, than our game on Monday, uh, and I'm really, really proud of uh, proud of our guys. Uh, in that, uh, you know, I'm sure they, they were disappointed. Uh, they wanted they wanted to play for a national championship. That's what you do when you come to Penn State. Uh, but they very quickly turned their focus, uh, led by their head coach, USC, 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 Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl. No, I was certainly disappointed uh, in, uh, and I'm, I'm good friends with the AD at, at, at Washington, so this is this is not uh, this is not a slam on them. But the committee kind of did go away from uh, what they had been talking about in terms of strength of schedule. Uh, a lot of chatter around that. I, I still believe um, that you've got, to, and it, it's proven out in other places. It's proved out with with Ohio State getting in. Uh, so it, it kind of worked both ways. Uh, we're we're going to stick with our, our scheduling philosophy, or philosophy from a non-conference uh, standpoint. Uh, one uh, one power power five, uh, and we're going to bring some great games to Beaver Stadium for our fans.